What I want to tell you is that I mean, I've been speaking to many audiences abroad and here in Pakistan, and I've said that today the international community is facing the most serious human rights and humanitarian situation in the territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Nowhere else. Because everywhere, wherever you have conflicts, warring factions, have arms and armaments. Whether you go to Africa or to Latin America, or you go back to the period when Balkans were at war with each other, all warring factions had weapons. The only exception today is the people of the Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir. They do not have any weapons at all. According to the Director General of Police of uh, the Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the total number of militants, so-called militants, we call them freedom fighters, they call them militants, but their number is two to 300 boys who have fled Indian terror and are hiding in forests and they have no training and they have no arms. There is no supply chain for these boys. And let me talk about mothers. Mothers are worried because according to an Indian women's NGO, 13,000 boys have been picked up and they've been transferred to the most notorious jails in India and they're being tortured and footage of their torture is being selectively distributed so that all the boys of the Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir get scared and stops supporting the freedom struggle. And uh, <clears throat> how can mothers sleep when their boys are being tortured in jails?